And so spring is once again upon us, and that can mean only one thing. It's roebuck season. Now this is one of the favorite times of the year for me. Not only do I get to hunt roebuck again, but I also enjoy the change of season. We can see the sun starting to come through the trees now, things are warming up, the habitat is changing, lots of new growth, and it's a great time to be out in nature. And it's also a great time to start selecting your deer hunting gear for the season. Now I've already picked my stuff and I'm gonna run through that with you a little bit today. Now I've got some new things and I've got some pretty old things, but everything comes together in a very familiar way. I suppose we could start at the bottom. I use a nice lightweight, breathable set of boots. These are Ariat Catalyst VX. As you can see, they've had a pretty hard life. They're a great set of boots and I don't just use them in the spring and summer. I also use them all the way through the winter. They are unlined, but I tend to layer up with the socks I need depending on the temperature. They have a grippy sole, but there's enough feeling in them that I don't unexpectedly step on twigs or branches or anything that might crack and give away my position. And then moving up, we have a nice, lightweight, waterproof and breathable hunting suit. I use Deer Hunter Mufon Light in Realtree Edge, the new pattern for this season. It is unlined. I am an active hunter. I like to move around in the forest when I'm stalking, so I don't need insulation. I use my movement to create body heat and that keeps me nice and warm. The spring does bring with it rain showers, so you do need something that is waterproof but is also breathable. The great thing about the Deer Hunter Mouflon light collection is there are a multitude of storage options. There's a nice mesh lining here which helps to wick away moisture for the more active hunters. And also the Realtree Edge camouflage pattern is ideally suited to this environment. So moving up towards the top of my body, depending on how cold it is, I might just wear a shirt like this Deer Hunter Caribou shirt, which is a nice, lightweight, breathable cotton shirt. Or I might layer up with this Cumberland quilted vest just to keep my core nice and warm. Either way, I don't like to take too much with me. You won't find me wearing lots of heavy layers, although I might take an additional waterproof in my pack if it's threatening rain. In terms of my rifle, I use something that's pretty familiar to me. This is my old Sauer 202 in 308 Winchester. This has been with me, must be getting on for 18 years now, so it's seen quite a lot of action. I've had the barrel shortened down to 18 inches, which is perfect for stalking woodland environments. And on the end of that is a brand new Sauer Titanium Pro Moderator. Very lightweight, nice and sculpted, and brings that noise down quite considerably. On top of that, I have a brand new Hawk Frontier 30, 2.5 to 15 by 50. This is an amazing scope. It's a smaller sister to the one that I use over in Alaska, the 5 to 30 by 50, but it's pretty much the same package. Monotube construction, nice and rugged, 21 layer, multi-coated optical system. It has a six times zoom magnification range, so 2.5 to 15, which can be adjusted easily using this high torque knurled ring. It has low profile turrets, but underneath these, as you can see, they're target adjustable style and they can be re-zeroed. It has a rheostat adjustable illumination for its glass etched reticle and that has 12 stages of brightness. It also has a side focus, uh, so taking you anywhere from 25 yards up to infinity. I tend to leave that set on around 100 because that's ideally suited to this type of environment and the distances that I'll be shooting. So that is a pretty trusty bit of equipment topped with some fairly new accessories. Now I support that using these. Now, for those of you who are regular followers of Team RTV, you'd have seen these quite a lot over the past eight or so years. They're my Vanguard B62 shooting sticks. Now they are dented, they're scratched, they're chipped, but they're incredibly reliable. I fixed the tape on the top here. They were getting a little bit loose, so that's a homemade adjustment there. But other than that, they've been pretty bomb-proof ever since I bought them. They fit just about every variety of rifle in the top here, and I know exactly what they're going to do. Aluminium built, as I say, pretty strong, pretty dependable. I don't use a bipod very often when I'm hunting in a woodland environment. Uh, I'll either lean up against a tree or use sticks if possible. I typically use a bipod when we go somewhere like Scotland where we do have lots of wide open spaces and lots of shots that we can get down and then we can take our time adjusting. Sometimes when you're shooting in a woodland environment you just don't get the time. The deer is in front of you, you bark, you make it stop, you've got to get on the sticks and then you've got to make that shot. And that's where this piece of kit comes in useful. This is a Vaughan backpack. This is the Lynx model. Now this has a quick release system to fit the rifle into. You carry it on your back as you would do any other normal backpack. There is additional storage in there, but the rifle has this unique system. There's a quick release catch on your left shoulder. You pull that and the rifle swings out quicker than it would be if you're pulling it straight from your shoulder. So an incredibly innovative piece of equipment that also has nice storage facilities included. So I have my rifle and I have my sticks which are quickly deployed. And then we have this, the trusty boost low row call and this is pretty irresistible 
to any roebuck as he approaches a rut. But these calls are also quite useful for just catching a deer's attention. The roebuck is quite an inquisitive animal, as are the does, and I've fetched just as many does in with this call as I have bucks. So always useful to have in your pocket, even at this time of the year. I know it's early season, but take it out and see if they start responding. You never know, you might be able to bring one in. When I am shooting, I used to use a little foam plug that went in my left ear and I've got tinnitus now for the rest of my life. So always invest in a, the best pair of ear defenders you can. These are Peltor Sportac ear defenders. I use them for pheasant shooting as well as deer stalking. Not only are these good uh, for protecting your hearing, but they also amplify ambient sound around you. It can make a squirrel sound like a Cape Buffalo because they do pick up sound very, very well. But I also find them very, very handy for trying to hear movement around me. As I'm walking, if I stop and I can still hear movement in the bushes or undergrowth, there could be a deer close by. So so very useful uh, multi-purpose hearing protection. When I'm sitting in a high seat, I like something that's a little bit bigger, a 56 millimeter objective lens. The Hawk Endurance is a good style of bino, pretty heavyweight for that. But this is a new Hawk Frontier EDX range of binoculars. And this is the 8x42 model. Nice, lightweight, compact, incredibly crisp image. Perfect for walking around. I like to keep things lightweight. I like to stay maneuverable and I don't want things weighing over me and pulling my shoulders down. So these binoculars not only are high performance, but they're also a nice, lightweight and compact package. But we're not going to get anywhere without ammunition. I use Hornady C Performance SSTs. 150 grains in 308 Winchester and they bring down pretty much anything that the UK has to offer. The 308 is a good all-round calibre. It's great for bigger deer if you're going up to Scotland to shoot red deer, but it's just as capable on smaller deer such as muntjac and Chinese water deer or roebucks, provided you use the right ammunition of course. Always go with something that your barrel likes, fire a few rounds through, see what groups best, but Sour and Hornady seem to work really well together for me. So there's just a few of the bits that I use. Of course, everybody has their own preferences and I'm sure you'll get your own system. My advice to you is, whatever you do, keep practicing. Keep shooting off sticks, get used to being able to take 100, 150 yard shots from sticks, but also give yourself the opportunity of making that insurance shot. So you might take a shot at a deer at 60 yards, it may not go according to plan, but a 150 yard shot might be the one that you're given to bring that animal down. It's all about familiarity. Spend a lot of time working with your equipment, a lot of time down at the range, a lot of time getting used to deploying your rifle, whether it be from a sling on your shoulder or onto your sticks or from one of these innovative new Vaughan Lynx backpacks. The more familiar that you are, the more second nature that using this equipment is, the more likely you are to take advantage if a shot presents itself. Also get used to calling. There are various different calls that are available on the market. This is a butelow, which everybody seems to know, but there's rosewood peeps and feeps and uh, lots of different whistles. Uh, and, and give everything a go. In fact, take quite a few out with you, maybe take two or three different varieties. The guys at bestdeercall.co.uk have a huge range and they're really experienced and can give you the right advice you need to pick the right model and also practice making those calls. And as you get in towards the rut, as you get in towards uh, July and, and August time when the bucks will start responding to calls, then hopefully you practice well enough that you're going to start bringing those in. So there we have it. There's just a few of the bits that I use this season. I'll be fascinated to hear what you guys are using. So please be sure to leave some comments below and happy hunting.